Three years ago, um, when the Game Change Initiative started, um, we, my husband and I, Brad, went to a briefing, and we left that briefing, and we were so excited about what was happening at Crosspoint. Um, we, Brad was always a thinker. Um, he wanted to think outside the box. He wanted to challenge norms and just kind of push the boundaries of people and, you know, helping them grow. And the question of whether we were going to give or not was not even a question. Like we knew we were going to give, we just didn't know how much. And so Kurt had challenged us um, to go into separate spaces and pray and maybe over time and just kind of come up with our number on our own and then come together and see what that number is. And so when we did that, we came together and his number was almost twice as much as the number that I had in my mind. So, um, which I, at the time was like, there's no way we can do this. Like we had a newborn there, we both were working, but I was getting ready to stop working. I was going to work part-time or, or not work at all or something like that. Like there's no way we can do this. And so Brad just challenged us to trust God that he would provide. So we stuck with his number and we didn't look back. About halfway through the game change campaign, um, Brad passed away unexpectedly. Um, and in an instant, my life was shattered. Um, I was left now as a widow and a single mom with a two-year-old um, who didn't have her dad and I didn't have my husband. Um, and trying to figure out how to piece life back together after that was and is still a long road. Um, initially, I was very angry with God. Um, I, I felt... Um, I felt betrayed by God. I just felt alone and left out and um, I lost trust in him for a little while. Um, early on in my grief journey, someone suggested just to think about one thing that's positive each day or get one thing that you're thankful for each day. And so over time, I tried to do that. And through that, I was able to see that even though God allowed this to happen, this tragedy didn't happen to our family, that he was still right there with me and he was still providing for us and he was still, you know, supporting us every single step of the way. So thankfully, several years prior, we had been led to a small group um, and we, this is a small group that connected instantly. And Brad and I started, um, we started going there before we even had our daughter and we have just been through life's ups and downs. It really is truly a life group. And um, after Brad died, like they were one of the first people I called. Like they, I called one of them and I said, go get Ellie. Like I need you to go get Ellie. Like, um, and they did. And I, I don't know, like they were there for every single thing after this, after everything happened. They brought food, they were just there to sleep at my house. They took turns sleeping at my house. Um, with me and Ellie afterwards, they, you know, ran errands, they took Ellie to do different things, they you know, brought us food. It was just unbelievable the support we had from our, from Crosspoint and from our life group family. At some point in this grief journey, now that I was a widow and a new mom, like finances were really hard and I lost Brad's income, like we lost Brad's income. And so figuring out all of that, like the, uh, the game change initiative like money that we were giving each month like I really had to consider like am I going to continue this or not and I really felt prompted by I don't know if it was God at the time or just like knowing that that was a commitment that Brad and I made together that I didn't want to give up um but I really felt strongly that I had to continue and so I did. So I, you know, I continued giving in the game change and finished out our commitment. And um, it's, it's just really neat to see what changes have been made at Crosspoint and also what changes have been taking place in my life and how God has provided above and beyond what I could have imagined for Ellie and I. I think through this entire journey with the game change is that God constantly provides. Like he never gives up on us. He never gave up on me and Ellie. He's provided in ways that I never even knew possible or ways that I needed. Um, and so, and he's even started to make some dreams that Brad and I had together come true without Brad. And so I feel like this Dream Big um, campaign is 
for all of us to dream bigger. God's dreams are bigger than, than mine. They're bigger than yours. And I just, I feel like, you know, we need to be a part of this journey to help bring God's love and these dreams alive.